Like other states, New Mexico learned last week that it would be getting about a third fewer doses of the vaccine produced by Pfizer. The initial shipments of the second vaccine by Moderna began arriving yesterday. Those will be funneled to long care facilities and nursing homes. New Mexico reported 826 new COVID cases Monday, one of the lowest daily totals since the beginning of November. And more than 12 hours after a fire caused a power outage yesterday morning, the Albuquerque Sunport was still closed last night. Outbound flights had been on hold all day. It came after a fire at a P&M transformer near the Sunport caused a power outage to the airport yesterday morning. Sunport is now advising passengers to check with the airlines this morning before you head out to the airport. Inbound flights were arriving on schedule. Some port officials said the outage affected about 32 flights yesterday. The field of an Albuquerque-based congressional seat continues to take shape after U.S. Representative Deb Holland's nomination as Interior Secretary. President-elect Joe Biden announced last week he'll nominate Highland to lead the U.S. Department of Interior, which would make her the first Native American cabinet secretary. While she does not have to relinquish her first congressional district seat until she's confirmed by the U.S. Senate, the prospect is an o of an open seat has already generated a torrent of interest among potential candidates. Oil and gas development infused $2.8 billion into New Mexico coffers during the 2020 budget year despite a global price war and falling demand due to the coronavirus pandemic. The New Mexico Oil and Gas Association says that record production helped push revenues to their second highest total ever reported. The industry group says oil and gas revenues accounted for one-third of the state's budget. Much of that went toward education. Federal mineral leasing was the single largest source of oil and gas revenue for the state at more than $800 million. Well, for years, scientists and Christians have debated what the wise men saw that led them to the town of Bethlehem more than 2,000 years ago for the birth of Jesus Christ. Christians call it the Star of David. Some scientists have speculated it may have been a comet. But last night and again tonight, the overwhelming theory is going to play out in the skies above Albuquerque and the whole world. Now, what that star was, because the wise men were very well aware of the sky, it was somewhere along the conjunction, possibly, that happens at night only once every 800 years, when planets come into conjunction, they essentially line up, and we have Saturn and Jupiter getting almost into a perfect line now. That's what produces what looks like a bright star in the night sky. Look to the southwest about 30 minutes after sunrise this evening, and you will see it. I personally believe that the star of Bethlehem was a miracle from our Lord. Well, that's the news. Remember, no matter how good or bad you think your life is, wake up and thank God. There are many people who have it worse than you do and are praying for what you have. Let's be grateful and thank God for the gift of life. Continue to pray for America. Have a blessed day and stay well. I'm Frank Haley, CJM. So um, I got together with some old friends yesterday for a, a little... Uh, happy hour cocktail and some hors d'oeuvres, you know, yeah. and uh, the, the gentleman is a retired doctor. Oh, okay. So I asked him, why why, why is the uh, uh, COVID-19 vaccine two shots? Yeah. He said, well, it's efficacy. It's uh, the first shot kind of provides about 75% uh, protection against the, the virus, uh -huh. leaving about... 25% of a, of a chance. Kind of like the flu shot. Yeah, kind of like that. The second shot is to bump up the effectiveness of I the see. vaccine to about 95%. Oh, okay, I see. So that's why the two. Mm -hmm. All right. And that's why you're getting it uh, two weeks apart or mm -hmm. three weeks apart. Yeah. I, I thought that, I didn't know that. Yeah. So 
I asked the doctor, and that's what he told me. Well, good. Thanks for telling us that. Yeah, yeah. and uh, so I asked him if he's going to get the shot. He says, I don't know yet. Yeah. Kind of waiting. Well, yeah, we'll see. We got time. Yeah, that's time. Okay, we're ready with our first guest of the day. And here it is, uh, time for a New Year's of re resolution or whatever your promises to yourself, whatever you want to call it. And Colleen Burns joins us this morning. She is a TV journalist and a very busy mom and takes time out to talk to us today. Hi, Colleen. Hi, Larry. That was very interesting information about the vaccine. I've not heard that yet. Yeah, a good friend of mine who's a doctor, I asked him why two shots, and that's the, that's the answer. So there you go. Okay. Um, this is the time of year. Where I, I guess the, the overused word is resolutions, but we do make promises to change things and improve things in our life. So whatever you want to call it, it's the new year, and we can try these things out. And you have some ideas for us. Exactly. So um, here's an idea. You can actually save more than $1,000 per year if you meet specific activity goals. And it's easier to track your activity with Apple Fitness Plus. You might have heard of this new studio style workout programming. It's from Apple. It's brand new, just dropped this month. And starting January 1st, if you're enrolled with United Healthcare's Motion Wellbeing Program, you have access to a Apple Fitness Plus for at least six months without an additional cost. It's powered by Apple Watch, you have access to 10 different workout types. So it could be yoga, it could be cycling, it could be strength training. And it's fueled by music from today's top artists. And it's led by some of the world's most skilled and most patient and most motivating trainers, no matter what your fitness level. And another fitness goal we should all have right now is to stay hydrated. It's so important and it's easy right now when you have some cocktails or when you're working out or when you're stressed to not have enough water. It's easier for me to drink uh, Fiji water because of the smooth taste. It's from naturally occurring electrolytes. That's what actually causes the taste. It's filtered through volcanic rock in Fiji. It's not touched by human hands until you actually open the bottle. It's got twice the electrolytes of top premium bottled water brands. They have this great sports cap, which is really convenient for working out or for running errands. And I love that they have this home delivery subscription that you can gift if you want, or you can give it to yourself because we're all trying to practice a little extra self-care right now. Oh, yeah. Very good. Um, these are these are good things to know as we wrap up the year. you have anything else uh, you want to share with us? Well, you know, specific to right now, I think, you know, we all want, all want to save money. But right now, one of the ways we can save money is something we're doing a lot of, and that's TV streaming. That's really spiked during the pandemic. And one oh, yeah. way you can save money in that area is to cut the cord on expensive cable subscriptions and that equipment you have to rent. And try using Roku because you've got hundreds of free channels that way. You can just cut the cord on your cable subscription, just stream straight from Roku, music and TV and movies and sports. And they've got this great new product you can gift or give yourself called the Stream Bar. Inside are four multi-directional speakers. It's pretty compact. But no matter what size your room, it fills the room with this rich Dolby sound. And another way to save money right now, I like this new product. SoFi Money is a cash management account, but they've got this vault feature. So they actually separate your saving from your spending. And now they're, they're matching, well, they're rounding up every transaction to the nearest dollar, first of all. And then you can put that into your, they put it automatically into your savings. But right now they're actually matching that amount. All the transactions, everything that's being rounded up is being matched and put into your savings. So you're actually saving some money while you're spending during the holiday season, which is a nice bonus. Sure is. All right. Uh, where can people go uh, find more information online? You can get more information at dailylounge.com. Dailylounge.com. Well, I wish you Merry Christmas, Colleen. Thank you for being on our show today. Uh, appreciate the info and have a wonderful uh, new year too, okay? You too. So nice talking to you. Thank you. Thank you, Colleen. Colleen Burns with us this morning. Some ideas for you. All right. Um, I, there's some Boy Scouts in Texas that have, have done something really unique.